Oh, Porsche Taycan, why is it so hard to love you? I have tried, I really have. I mean, I guess I still am excited about the fact that the legacy manufacturer had put a lot of effort and kind of proud of it uh, with a, a four-door uh, performance sedan that's going to be an alternative. See, people say competitor. An alternative, I think that's much better, um, to a Tesla Model S, which was long overdue, but... You know, uh, there were a couple of disappointments, though there's also good news that I'm going to share you at the end of the video. And we're also going to talk, what does this mean with their, you know, competition with a Tesla Model S? But there was already, you know, the 350 kilowatt uh, uh, charging rate that was kind of promised to us. And then they reversed that. They said, well, it's not really ready for another couple of years. And they only did it, what, a few weeks before the unveiling. Um, and then, of course, the production, uh, now it's delayed by about 8 to 10 weeks. Now... That's not really that big of a deal because I think everyone runs late, <laughs> you know, with, with their first, especially with their first electric car model. Um, and that's okay. But the news that came out today um, about the car that I think is the most disappointing, and that is the EPA range. And the, 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 the one that they've tested right now is for the Porsche uh, uh, Taycan Turbo, which is uh, at the WLTP, which is a European range, uh, was... Um, they were rating it at 279 miles. Now, I know that's usually very optimistic, but 279 miles should have trans translated into, you know, 240 to 30 miles of range. But guess what? Ready? EPA rating for it is uh, 201 miles. They have barely squeezed into the whole way up to in front of our range category. And then what is this going to happen? What is it going to mean for the Turbo S and the Turbo 4S? Well, I'll tell you what's going to happen. Both of them are going to have a one in front of them because um, the Turbo S uh, is a 256 mile range, which is less. And that's probably going to translate, I don't know, 100, 190, maybe even less of uh, EPA miles. And then there's Turbo 4S, which has a smaller battery of uh, 79 kilowatt hour compared to the 93.4 kilowatt hour, hour in Turbo and Turbo S. And that is going to have a range of uh, 253 miles uh, WLTP range, which I, I don't know. Are we talking like BMW i3 type of numbers? That is a problem, Porsche. You know, I know everyone's been busy comparing, you know, them with the Model S, who's faster on the track, who's 0 to 60 and around different racetracks. But you know what? The regular consumers, and I know Porsche consumers are not maybe regular consumers, but, you know, a, a range of a car is very important. And if you have a two in front of, I mean, you gotta have a two in front of it um, if you're producing cars in 2020, but you know, if you're gonna have one of it, I I, I don't know what's gonna happen with, with it. this is, I gotta tell you, when I woke up today and look at this news and uh, I, I was, I was, I really had to double check because I thought maybe this is the shortest range, maybe. No, it is the longer range uh, Taycan and it's going to be kind of tough to sell them, which kind of brings me to the next point because um, it is it is not all is lost. Uh, before that, of course, uh, let me uh, quickly remind you that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byte and check out their all electric SUV called M Byte coming to the US and Europe. But look how fast and easy it is to make a reservation, mainly because there is no payment section and there is no payment section because you don't have to put any money down to reserve yours. So I really don't know why you haven't reserved one yet. You can do that by going to the description of this video and reserving your Byton today. All right. Back to our Taycan problems, uh, uh, relationships problems at this point. Um, all right. Now, the, the good news is they did say that uh, they have converted, uh, which appeared to be thirty to 40,000 uh, pre-orders, to 10,000 actual orders. Now, I don't know if those people were aware that the range is not going to be what's, what was promised. But nevertheless, I am assuming that, you know, as always, the first batch of new uh, customers or, you know, people who are, uh, you know, huge fans of the brand and, as, and, and they probably nothing will stop them from, from reserving and getting the car. So that's, that's definitely, I, I, I get that. I, I, and, and, and it's great. And what's going to happen past uh, the, 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 the original 10, 20,000 orders, you know, I, you know, let me know in the comment section, if you are a, te a tech card reservation uh, holder or you're a fan and you were thinking about one, do you think this is, this is something that's going to prevent you from ordering or, and, and, and have you, have, have you gotten up from the floor from falling onto it from your chair when you heard this number? Um, 
it took me a while. All right, now let's talk about uh, the Model S comparison. And, you know, I, I, without a doubt, this is definitely going to kind of solve that problem. I mean, range is important and Model S uh, can go up to 370 miles, but even the most conservative, the, the performance versions, uh, they still have, they all have three in front of it. You know, and you know, if you can compare uh, a three in front of uh, your range, three and 300 miles, and having uh, a one in front of it, boy, and then you still have, you know, a 50% sort of a, a price increase between the two, you know, Porsche starting at 150,000. Um, ah, man, this is this. I I know I know Porsche is a very specific segment, right? A lot of times, you know, Porsche owners would never go to Tesla or maybe any other brand. They just want to stick stick with their brand, and I get it. But Porsche's got to be able to sell it beyond their customer fan base, and ugh, this could be tough. So I, I listen. I I I really hope that they might change something. I mean, we've seen Audi um, and uh, Jaguar have done the software upgrades, just like Tesla have, with uh, uh, to be able to extend the range. Uh, maybe they have a buffer that they might maybe squeeze something a little bit more out of, just like Audi did. But I really hope I really hope they might they just just re, re, uh, retool some of the tech. Um, so. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm just as you can see, I'm lost for words because I'm still in shock. But I, I have plenty of words to uh, recommend you to follow me on Instagram because that's where all the behind the scenes stuff happens. I just posted a few uh, pictures of me visiting Lucid headquarters, and that video with their CEO uh, Peter Rollison is coming up on this channel. So don't forget to subscribe, of course, and subscribe button is the red button. Uh, down there or to the left of the you can easily find it is my, is my point all right uh, let me hear it looking forward to your comments other than that see you guys next time and remember to stay charged